Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. In the spring of 2002, I was at a rummage sale. I saw an Odyssey 2 game system box, and the price on it said $5. My family never had an Odyssey 2. We had an Atari 2600 and a few other systems. So, I was excited. I opened the box, and inside were 20 Odyssey 2 cartridges. I hit the jackpot. But there was still a problem. I didn't have a system to play them on. A few weeks later, I stopped in a Goodwill thrift store, and I couldn't believe my eyes. Another Odyssey 2 game system box, and this one was marked 525. I hit the jackpot again. For only $10, I now had the system and 20 cartridges. Let's take a look at some of the games that I got. Many of these games are very similar to games for the more popular Atari 2600. First, we have sports games. There's football, hockey, soccer, and basketball. The problem with these games is that they are all two-player only. But bowling is one player. Ah, gutter ball. Oh, the dreaded 7-10 split. There were also some racing games. This cartridge originally came with each Odyssey 2 system. The game Speedway was extremely difficult. And Spin Out was like Indy 500 for the Atari. You're damaging yourself! The third game on this cartridge was a word scramble game called Crypto Logic. This could be a cool way to find out what other words you can make from your name. Yadapu R. Let's try again. You whip Delria. Ah, never mind. Thunderball was a pinball game. Looks kind of crappy. Good thing there's this diagram to explain what these ambiguous shapes are. One of the best games was probably the video game version of the Japanese mechanical arcade game Pachinko. This game hadn't even been made for any other video game systems, so it was one of a kind. Armored Encounter really looks exactly like Atari's Combat. Subchase is sort of like Air Sea Battle. Oh, it looks like we've got a copyright infringement alert! In 1981, Magnavox released KC Munchkin for the Odyssey 2. But Atari took them to court. They said that KC Munchkin was a little too much like Pac-Man, which they owned the rights to. So, Magnavox was forced to stop selling the game. It is pretty similar to Pac-Man. There's just less dots to eat. The big differences are the other game options, which include invisible walls and programming your own mazes. Their game Pickaxe Pete wasn't enough like Donkey Kong for anyone to sue them. You're a miner breaking up rocks. Unfortunately, you lose your pickaxe too often, and it's difficult getting a new one. Now, let's check out some space games. The game UFO is sort of a weird version of asteroids. In Invaders from Hyperspace, science fiction becomes science fact. I'm not sure how that works. It's kind of like Atari Space War, but you can hide inside the planets that are the same color as your ship. And as you can see, it was purchased at a Gimbal's for $30. Here's Showdown in 2100 AD. I'm amazed that 2100 looks more like the 19th century. This other game, War of Nerves, looks a little more like 2100, I guess. We also have Helicopter Rescue. Okay, I'll get this guy, and I'll put him over here. All right, then I'll get this guy, and I'll put him over here. Okay, that's enough of that. Blockout is like Atari Breakout, except they added some demons from the fourth dimensional barricade. <laughs> One cartridge that I could never use was Type and Tell. Through the power of speech synthesis, it speaks whatever you type in. But I don't have the necessary Voice of Odyssey module add-on. I have one more Odyssey 2 game, The Quest for the Rings. Magnavox released Quest for the Rings in 1981. This game came with a game board and pieces so that you could map your way along. You play as a warrior, or a wizard, or a phantom, or a changeling. You have to recover the ten rings that are guarded by dragons, giant bats, orcs, and a giant spider called the Spydroth Tyrantulus, said to be horror and death incarnate. I tried playing this game, but it's very involved.
The rule book alone is almost 30 pages long. I was unable to gain possession of any of the rings. I just kept getting eaten by the dragon. I hope that you enjoyed the look at my Bargain Odyssey 2 system and games. If you did, don't forget to click the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.